After a few updates, the Redmi Note 3 seems to have matured quite a bit. It even outperformed the Lenovo Z1 in our speed test. But how will it hold up against the newly launched Moto G4 Plus when it comes to day-to-day -day usage scenarios? Well, let's find out. Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech. Let's get started. A point of note. The Redmi Note 3 I'm using in this video is the Indian Pro variant with the Snapdragon 650 chip and 3 gigs of RAM. All sorts of battery saving options are turned off on both the devices. And as always, both phones have been reset to factory defaults, connected to the same wireless network with no apps running in the background. Let's now go ahead and start the stopwatch. Opening up Temple Run 2. The Note 3 loads it faster. Share it. Gmail, Skype, the Redmi Note 3 has taken a huge lead. The Note 3 finishes round 1 in 1 minute and 21 seconds. On to the memory management round. The Note 3 is reloading Temple Run 2. Meanwhile, the G4 Plus is in the camera app. And finally finishes round 1 in 1 minute 35 seconds. The G4 Plus reloads Temple Run 2 too. The Redmi Note 3 has Asphalt 8 in memory. Impressive. It has the other apps in memory too and is racing away to the finish line. And the Note 3 finishes the test in 2 minutes and 13 seconds. The G4 Plus is far far behind. Unlike the Note 3, it's reloading the website. And finally finishes the test in 2 minutes 52 seconds. Let's now turn the animations off and try this again. And I'm speeding things up to save you some time. The Note 3 took 1 minute and 56 seconds to finish the test and if you notice carefully, this time it had Temple Run 2 in memory as well. The G4 Plus finished the test in 3 minutes 11 seconds. That's quite a huge difference. Anyway, let's now test the speed of launching the camera. The Note 3 is noticeably faster here. Even with the gesture shortcut, the G4 is a bit slower in opening the camera. Before wrapping up, let me boot the phones up. I would say at 11999, the Redmi Note 3 offers a great bang for the buck. The G4 Plus, though it has 8 cores compared to 6 on the Redmi Note 3, the two more powerful Cortex A72 cores on the Redmi Note 3 seem to make their presence felt, giving the Redmi Note 3 an advantage with regards to power. The Note 3 winning the memory management round, well that was surprising. 
I'm quite impressed with the way memory management has improved on the Note 3 since launch thanks to the updates. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway that's it for this video. Do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you do want to support the channel, consider changing your Flipkart or Amazon URLs to ones with our affiliate ID. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.